this is a quick little test uh, showing how the M6 probing macro works. This macro was supplied by one of the guys on the UCNC Facebook page. Uh, I didn't write it, I just edited a slide to suit what I need. So to use it, first thing we need to do is go into probe. We've got to set where our probe is. So the moment the machine's above the tool post, where we're going to probe from. So we want to go into mobile probe, set its probe position, hit start probe, and it will store that value up here. Uh, you want to check to make sure your safe set is, is uh, has a value in it, and also your greater Z is greater than G17. So when it retracts, it works. Next thing you need to do is jog your machine over to where your workpiece reference is going to be. In my case, I'm referencing off the bed, and since it's an alloy bed, I've got an insulated touch probe. So you move it to where you want it, press reference probe as workplace. Probe will go down zero, find its home, at zero position. From there, you press start probing again, it will go across to the touch probe position. And it'll probe again to work out the difference between the reference and where your touch probe is. Now that we've set up our touch probe, it's got the right uh, mobile position and it's got a reference difference. We load a file up, so I've already got a file loaded up here. I press cycle start. It moves the piece across to above the tool position, change position, and asks you to insert the tool. So we'll assume that I've changed tools. Put that in and put the touch probe on it. Press OK. It'll move down to the right position and then start probing. For the job. Once that job is finished, it tells us it's successfully probed, we take our probes off and press OK. From there we're going to go and air cut the circle. We are at uh, set at 40 mil so from the base, so we're only air cutting. It's going to cut out this circle and then it's going to ask for another tool change. So it's going to spin a lot and it's going to ask us to change to tool 20. It's moved across above where the tool changer is. We'll assume we've changed tools again. Put our probes on, press OK moves down again and then starts to probe. And it says it's successful again. Take our probes off. Press OK and it will continue on with the job. It will do that every time it asks for a tool change. 